Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere in the Old or New Testaments do you find the word humility ever used. Nowhere, nowhere. Now, as far as whether the prophets were Muslims, let me repeat it again. Nowhere in the Old or New Testaments do you find the word Muslims or Islam ever used. But you cannot quote a single verse from the Old Testament or the New Testament where the word Muslim or Islam was ever used by the true prophets of God and the apostles of Christ. Nowhere, nowhere. Let me repeat it again. Nowhere in the Old or New Testaments do you find the word. I say you, say you or anyone else give me a verse from the Bible where Jesus said, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Trinity. cannot quote a single verse from the Old Testament or the New Testament. Ironically, my friend, in case you don't know this, Paul himself never mentioned the Trinity. There are 12,000 occurrences of the word God in the Bible. I'm counting here Yahweh, that's the divine name that Drew mentioned. Let's say 7,000 times. Adonai, the Lord God, 449 times. In the Greek, Theos, the God, the one God of Jesus. He called him my God, by the way. Jesus has a God. He referred to the Father as God. And then the other word would be, what have we got? Elohim. The other word for God. And there's a, you've got 12,000 shots at saying triune God. Can you find any of those texts where God clearly means I three? I don't think so. I don't think the triune God showed up there yet. That's a later development. Let me repeat it again. Nowhere in the Old or New Testaments do you find the word... That, that Trinity is a lie and a fabrication against Jesus and there's no evidence of it in the words of Jesus. Now as far as whether the prophets were Muslims, was Jesus a Muslim prophet? I think he was. Muslims believe that Jesus and the Jewish prophets were Muslim too, in the sense that the word Muslim means someone who completely submits his life to the will of God, which is what the Arabic word Muslim means. Now as far as whether the prophets were Muslims, according to John the Baptist in Mark chapter 1, he went around preaching a, a gospel of repentance, a baptism for repentance and forgiveness of sins. He baptized people in the river Jordan, this is before Jesus came along, and they received forgiveness of their sins. The Lord's Prayer, you know the Our Father who art in heaven, there's a clause on it that says, and this is the prayer, the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. It says in it, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who sin against us. It's a petition for forgiveness. This is pure Islam. It's nothing to do with Jesus dying on the cross for your sins. Jesus was a Muslim.
remember Jesus says Abraham was a Christian in John 8, 56 to 59. It is now widely agreed among New Testament scholars that Jesus himself, the historical individual, did not think of himself as divine and did not teach anything like the later doctrine of the Incarnation. The New Testament sayings in which Jesus seems to claim divinity, such as he who has seen me has seen the Father, I and the Father are one, I am the way, the truth and the life, no one comes to the Father but by me, are all in the Gospel of John, and it is widely agreed they cannot be responsibly attributed to the historical Jesus, but are words put into his mouth by a later Christian writer around the end of the first century. So Now, if Jesus didn't say that, if the historical Jesus didn't say that, then I say, that's like lying on my mother. That's like lying on my wife. That's like lying on your mother or your wife. And you would not allow somebody to lie on your mother or your wife. You would defend them. And I love Jesus more than I love my wife. And you should love Jesus more than you love your, your wife. And I said that that trinity is a lie and a fabrication against Jesus. And there's no evidence of it in the words of Jesus. Let me repeat it again. Nowhere in the Old or New Testaments. Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord thy God is how many? How, how many? End the story. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere in the Old or New Testaments do you find the word Trinity ever used. 